trying to learn kanji? Click here to get a free ebook and study along with this lesson. Hi everyone! Welcome to the Japanese Kanji video series. In this lesson, you'll learn the human legs radical. Take a look at these kanji characters. Can you guess what they mean? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to grasp the meaning behind these kanji characters. First off, can you spot the radical that's common in all of these kanji characters? It's this part here. It looks like a pair of legs. This particular radical is called Ninyo or Hitoashi. It's the human legs radical, and it's used in some of the most common of all kanji. Let's take a look at it in more detail. In some of the previous lessons, you learned that some radicals are kanji characters on their own. This is the first radical we've encountered that isn't a kanji character in itself. This basically means that you'll only encounter it as a component in other kanji characters. The meaning behind this radical is legs, particularly those of a person. Unlike the previous radicals that we've learned, the meaning of the human legs radical is less literal. It generally alludes more to the sense of structural support that our legs provide us with. From left to right, the first kanji means origin or foundation. The second means light or to shine. And the third character means to see. If you think of these kanji characters from the viewpoint of support, the meaning of each character makes much more sense. The first kanji has the human legs radical at the bottom, which is connected to a wide horizontal line with a smaller parallel horizontal line on top. The wide horizontal line represents the body, and the smaller horizontal line represents the head. Notice how the legs are connected and are supporting the body. The legs that are supporting the body and head represent the foundation or basis, which is the meaning of this kanji character. The second kanji has the legs on the bottom once again, with what appears to be a fire burning on top. Fire evokes light, so the meaning of this kanji is light, and the foundation, or origin, of the emitting rays refers to the point source. Light emanating from a source means that it's shining, so this kanji can also mean to shine. The final kanji has human legs on the bottom, supporting the character for eye. An eye that is mobile is one that can see. So this kanji character means to see. The human legs radical will always be at the bottom position where it's supporting something. Just remember where your legs are on your body, and you won't forget it. Where are your legs? On the bottom. OK, now let's learn how to write this radical. The human legs radical only has two strokes. The first stroke starts near the center and curves from right to the bottom left. The second stroke also starts near the center, but it goes straight down and then flattens out at the floor, only to flick upwards slightly. The beginning of each stroke usually connects to another radical, so keep that in mind. And that's it! You're done! The human legs radical isn't a kanji on its own, so you'll only see it as a part of another kanji. In the case of the original examples, common readings are Gen Moto For the origin or foundation kanji Ko Hikari For the kanji meaning to shine and Ken Mi For the kanji meaning to see In this lesson you learned about the human legs radical. The idea behind the human legs radical is support. This radical isn't a kanji character on its own, so you'll only see it in other kanji characters, such as the foundation, shine, and see kanji characters that you learned in this lesson. You'll always find this radical in the bottom position, and it's written with two vertical strokes, one curved stroke, and one that flattens out and flicks upwards slightly. In the next lesson, you'll learn about another common radical used in some of the most common and basic kanji characters, the ten radical. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Bye!